A conservation project led by the University of New South Wales and the Sydney Institute of Marine Science is helping an endangered seahorse population recover. The rebuilding of lost underwater pastures within Sydney Harbour is boosting the number of the white seahorse, a species found on the east coast of Australia and the second seahorse species in the world listed as endangered. Adriana Verges is a professor in marine ecology at the University of New South Wales and is part of the conservation project project and joins me now. Adriana, thank you very much. Why is there such a problem with the seagrass and what have you been doing to replenish it? So seagrasses like to live in the same calm sheltered waters where us humans like to settle. So the coastal development, historical pollution, that all led to the disappearance of the seagrass. And then now we're also seeing boating activities, and in particular, moorings um, are one of the main threats to, to seagrasses nowadays. And that's because they have these heavy chains that kind of just drag along the seafloor and destroy everything underneath it. Okay. So they're the reasons for the disappearance. Mm. And what we're working on is a project where we're replacing these swing moorings with environmentally friendly moorings. And on top of that, we do the restoration of the seagrass. And that's because this particular seagrass that we're working well with, it's called Posidonia, and it's beautiful, it's the largest seagrass in the whole of Australia, very productive but very slow growing. So once it disappears, it's very hard for it to come back on itself, mm -hmm. by itself. So tell me about the process of rebuilding this, these underwater pastures. We're seeing some pictures here of the cages where the seahorses are flocking to. Yeah. And, 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 and how people have been involved with it. Well, the cool thing about this project is that we're doing two species in one. So we're restoring the seagrass and one of its most iconic creatures that lives in it, which is the white White seahorse, mm. and the white seahorse is unfortunately endangered because this it's the seagrass is disappearing. So we're kind of doing both things in one. We're restocking the seahorses and we're restoring the seagrass habitat. And we do that with the help of citizen scientists. Yeah. They collect seagrasses that have become naturally detached. They've ended up along the seashore. And if they're still green and they have a rhizome, a rooting system, we can use that to restore the meadows. And it's been incredibly successful. We've had more than 4,000 seagrass shoots collected by citizen scientists. We've been planting them and we've been placing them alongside these seahorse hotels, which yeah. are this structure. And how's check-in going? I hear you're pretty full at the inn in some of these hotels. It's going well, it's going well. We have a, a, a population of seahorses that we're now starting to see in nearly all the dives that we do. and. The beautiful thing is that we can see the seahorse kind of using both the sea, the hotels and the, the restored seagrass, mm -hmm. um, which is what we're looking for, mm -hmm. essentially. And briefly, will you get to the point where the population of the seahorses will be so great that they'll come off this list? I mean, that is the dream for both species, that we are so efficient with our restoration and we stop doing damage mm -hmm. um, that both species start to thrive again in Sydney Harbour.